Good morning folks. I wanted to talk about Celestron off-axis schedule. I created a video before. Uh, since then, I learned quite a bit, um, you know, using off-axis scatter and using off-axis scatter uh, in various uh, configurations. So this is uh, Explore Scientific ED102 triplet. This is AVX mount, Celestron AVX mount. And this is a ZWO 1600 monochrome camera. This is Canon uh, T6i. It's not modded, it's not astro modded. It's a regular camera. This is the Celestron off axis gator. So I wanted to show you how to set this up and why we need to set it up. So if you look closely, this top camera is looking at the same thing as your DSLR is looking at, right? You can use DSLR or you can use any other CMOS cameras over there. Okay, so this is coming from your uh, EOS camera, the main imaging camera, this image, right? It's a live view. I'm using backyard EOS because I'm using Canon DSLR. I think I like this one, this software better to looking at the live view. And if you look at uh, Shark Cap, this is looking at the off axis gator view coming from your 1600 ZWO camera, right? So these both are pretty much in focus as we speak. I mean, you can adjust the focus on this one a li little bit more, but I think the point is uh, these two are looking at the same uh, image. So the way off axis gator will work is whatever is the main imaging camera is looking at, right? Off axis gator is looking at just the edge of it, right? right? Either the, this corner, or top corner or here or here or on the top somewhere and it is showing like kind of a, a little bit of a view saying that hey I'm looking at the same thing you know so when you are looking at you know taking a picture of a deep sky object the stars that you have in the corners is what off axis gator is looking at in order to do the proper guiding right so when you use off axis gator you are going to get a better reliable guiding than using a guide camera now you know why i'm going after off axis gator to make sure my guiding is better when i'm using uh, off axis gator so let me show you how this will work what i have here is i have a couple of adapters here running from the off-axis gator. This is a Canon EOS 2-inch adapter. This goes into your DSLR camera. And then these 2-inch adapters are coming from the off-axis gator. And this is just a one and, one and a quarter eyepiece kind of uh, extender and your uh, ZWO monochrome is looking at that one. So I adjusted the height uh, to make sure I can focus it. So first thing that you need to do is measure how much back focus that you need from the off axis gator to your EOS camera.
So this is the one of the adapters that comes with uh, the off-axis getter. So I made it really tight. This is important because whenever this thing moves, you don't want this thing to come off. Okay, so this is really tight. And then we take this and install it back of the telescope, right? This is, this is like a compression ring. So you wanted to install it like right here, right? Make, make sure it is tight. It's pretty cold, but I don't need to wear the gloves yet. If you wear gloves, I think you need to be careful how much you tighten up, okay? The next thing that we got to do is uh, to install the second component of uh, off-axis girder. You see the off-axis girder like right here, right? So it's kind of a flat on one side and on this side it is kind of a lower end, right? So right now I'm putting the flat on the other side, right? So this is where this is where the off-axis guider camera is going to come and on this side of the side you should see your uh, imaging camera coming in. So we are installing when this is like a flat that goes on the other side. So let's do that one. Yeah, you don't want to rush any one of these because uh, this stuff can go wrong pretty quickly. Okay, so I don't recommend even adding a imaging I mean the the off-axis camera right now because if you add off-axis getter camera in the beginning before you star a line and all it adds too much weight so I would not recommend it at all you would do it check the mount weight everything is good to go take it out okay and then do the star alignment put the camera back if you put the camera back and if you do two star alignment when the mount moves I don't think this will hold up really well it's pretty dangerous okay now the next component is going to be the the sec the uh, the other end of your off axis getter so make sure uh, you can put this one in okay so you got uh, pretty much everything tight okay now there are two pieces to it so the way I did it was uh, so there are two pieces as you can see like this is one piece uh, if you can see it and this is the second piece this is the back focus that you need and this is a standard back focus. Uh, you can actually buy uh, a similar uh, full-size back focus for the uh, for these uh, uh, DSLR cameras from Celestron, or you can put like uh, I think this is like 16.5, and uh, probably this is like a 32 kind of thing. So it's like totally is like I don't know like 48 something, right? That's what it needs. I can actually look up and put the right spec in the description of the video. So you need to install this one right so now you got the back focus installed right all right so now the last piece is this one this is uh, uh, Canon EOS adapter this is one side goes into the camera like right here uh, if you can see it and the other side is basically going to be like a two inch ring right so all you have to do is uh, install that ring here, right? The way I normally would do is um, I would take this 
install it on the camera first and then twist the camera is easier. So this is a standard DSLR camera. You don't need lens for this camera because uh, lens is your telescope, right? So you will take this one like right here and there is a little dot and you just need to match the dot. So make sure that this is installed on top of your two inch adapter there, right? So you need to make sure you find a grip there. Yeah, you, do, you wanted to be careful with this whole thing. It's like the interstellar movie, right? That little kid Murph asked her uh, dad about Murphy's law. You know, Murphy's law got introduced into the interstellar movie for a reason. What is Murphy's law, Google? According to Wikipedia, Murphy's Law is an adage or epigram that is typically stated as anything that can go wrong will go wrong. When you are doing astronomy, you will realize all the hundred iterations of things that can happen will happen. In part two of this video, I will show you how to improve your PhD guiding using off-axis guider, almost like a pro. Thanks for watching.